so first I wanted to ask you if you were stuck as spirits in your own high schools what would be the best and also the worst things about that oh mm, I, I don't well know. the worst would just honestly be that you're stuck at your high school mm, yeah that just that, that I mean just I, it, all of that would be oh I bad. would be so bad I don't know if there would be a best oh part. I have a best part what? my high school um I'm, I'm from the Bay Area in California. They w underwent this huge um co like construction. Like everything now, it looks like a college campus. It looked disgusting before. Like yeah. it was designed by a guy who designs um prisons. So it was like real not good and like kind of scary. But now I could have, you know, seen it, you know, go through all this transformation. It could have been nice to see. Yeah, I wish. I yeah, wish I, I, was, I went to high school on set on a soundstage in Hollywood and it was disgusting. I was always sick. And I think I realized it was because of whatever was, was in the soundstage. Mold. Yeah. Um, and I, I went to school with three other kids. Mm. So I would be so bored. There would be such a lack of content. Oh. oh, that's true. It would be entertaining to watch. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I was stuck with anyone. If I was stuck with no one, I don't think I'd be good no. either. No, that wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it, do you think, about School Spirits that makes it stand out from so many other teen shows set in high schools? Because there are quite a few of them. I got my cool friends in it. Yeah. I think you answered this question pretty well. Which one? Earlier. About the, the thing that makes this show special. No. You <laughs> well, just, you know. Oh, oh. Well, I think, okay, yes. We had some, like, incredible DP, um, incredible directors and creators that really wanted it to look not just like your typical YA show. Because I think there is so much of that. And it looked really, I mean, some of these shots, even in the trailer, I called you, I said, that one shot looked, made it look like a Wes Anderson movie. Like, yeah. it, it really looks beautiful in a way that I haven't seen a lot of YA shows shot before. Yeah. So that was cool. I feel like there's a level of authenticity and just, it was so collaborative with the creators. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of the times it's an older writer writing for a, a modern voice. And, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that. It just was nice that they were... If we said, I don't think a kid would say this now, or, you know, just being able to collaborate and have them immediately fix it, or um, just, I feel like with the jokes, and like, you guys did a lot of improv, and mm -hmm. I just feel like it, it made it uh, just a lot more real. Yeah. And a big thing, too, I don't know if you'll notice it or you noticed it, is that a lot of times I line, you know, you're we're looking at the person that we're talking to. And with this show, all of our eye lines were right next to camera, which made it look more like a Wes Anderson or like a like an actual really like artsy thing. And that was hard to do sometimes because yeah. we had to act to tape sometimes or a lot of the time instead of looking at the person we're acting with. Yeah. But then when I got to see it back, I was like, this looks sick. Yeah, no, like it made it really look good. really cool. Yeah, it makes everything more intentional and focused. Yeah, and just artistic in some way. Yeah. So. So you mentioned how you're often like acting to looking in a different direction, not the other actors on set. And obviously you're working in scenes with actors and characters that can't see your characters. What's that like to work with people and they can't see you? The director will call cut and all of a sudden you're back in the same room with these people. Um, it was easy for us because we could see everybody and interact. I think it was harder for all the live actors because they had to pretend that we were not there. So we definitely, there were moments where we had to call cut because someone was looking at us or we bumped into somebody. Yeah, like or, background actors like yeah, looking like, at us. We had yeah. to reshoot our entire first day of filming <laughs> yeah, because true. all of, it didn't, it just didn't work in the hallway scenes. It took, a, we were doing it practically because we didn't want to do any goofy you know special effects we wanted to make it all practical and oh, it, it right. was difficult yeah and but i do feel like there was still a divide even when we call cut there was definitely a divide because people were told they couldn't look at us it kind of lingered yeah that was weird it lingered. Yeah. people that really wouldn't look or interact with us yeah. there, there, we felt kind of alone that was yeah. funny to think about i just mm -hmm. as you said that i remembered we were like on the lawn once and we had to i had to walk through you know, live people acting and they were talking and eating lunch and throwing a football. And I had to just walk through them and they never looked at me. We called cut and I'd like joke mm. with them. And they were like, because they would say, don't look at Sarah, everyone do not look at Sarah. And so everyone just would not look at like anyone. I was a ghost. And I was like, no one sees me here. Yeah. I'm a diva. So I request that nobody look at me. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Don't look me in the eye. So I loved it. It was amazing. So did that affect the relationship and the chemistry that you three built together because no one else was looking and talking mm. to you? That, did that help bring you together? 
Actually, yeah, I, have, I never even really thought about that. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I don't like that. No, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I guess I don't. Maybe I don't know. We also we all we, we all lived reason. together basically, so it was it was like it was a, uh, and because everybody's so great, <laughs> so we 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 I think we would have it would have no matter what we would have, we would have gotten along. But maybe yeah, we were forced to like each other. Yeah, we were forced to like each other because <laughs> no one else would look at us. Yeah. <laughs> So Peyton in particular, but also this applies to both Nick and Sarah. What's it like getting to play a traditional teen character and coming of age um, type character, but also mixing that with a detective as well, trying to solve what's happened? I mean, at that age, you're just trying to find so much of yourself and just wrap your head around what is going on. Um, so to add that into it, it's very complicated. But Maddie's also such a old soul. She has her life much more together than I did in high school. And I feel like she's decently level-headed considering what's going on. Um, so yeah, it's a it's my favorite kind of mixture. I love, I, I, I loved that growing up. What was the biggest challenge you found making this show? Can we answer the same thing? Yeah. We, we honestly, going back to the getting along thing, sometimes we get along too well. And so there were, at least for, at least me, for I think that, us. Was the, that was the challenge. I don't know. You probably you had more to like... no. Peyton was such a professional. Nick and I would be sitting there crying, laughing, like ruining takes, fully like ruining it. And Peyton would walk in, tears in her eyes, like ready for the scene, like, and we're like fully giving. Like, and just... Nick and I were like, shit, we gotta like be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that was the most challenging was being as professional as Peyton. <laughs> the most challenging thing was myself. <laughs> the most challenging thing for me was these two. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you. You too.